Hi, I'm Shuhei, a faculty member of Ritsumeikan University. In this movie, I'd like to discuss how we should behave in the SNS society of today and tomorrow. Needless to say, most of you realize that in the past few years, we have been living in a close knit society based on various kinds of social networking services, or SNS. SNS have made it possible for us to be linked with others on a continuous basis. Research estimates show that the SNS user population will reach 2.55 billion by the year 2017, which means SNS will be a part of life for most of us. Of course, SNS have a bright side and a dark side, just as any other tools do. However, what I'd like to talk about in this clip is not what you shouldn't do on SNS. You can find a lot of information and tips about what not to do on SNS through other media sources. Instead, we should now think about how to behave in a new era where most of us are involved in SNS, whether we like it or not. I think there are three fundamental rules to follow in this quest. The first rule is to be honest. Needless to say, honesty is the best policy. No one would disagree with this motto, but in the SNS based society, this is more true. This year, we've witnessed various kinds of hoaxes that caused sensations in our society, ranging from lies to fraud. You may think those who are called liars are dishonorable, but are of value to an extent because they gather tons of attention from others through the media, including SNS. I don't know exactly why they tell lies, but I think they all have something in common. They crave attention from others. Attention from others. Don't you think there is nothing more valuable than this in the SNS world? I do. I'm a Twitter user of six years, and I must confess that when someone retweets or favorites my tweets, I feel good. To be more specific, I feel very good. It's almost ecstasy. So, it's understandable how much it means to us to gather attention from others, but it doesn't mean it's okay to do anything to make people focus on you, such as telling a lie. Telling a lie is just one example. We know some people get into mischief and tweet it to the world simply because they want attention from others, even for a short period of time. And we also know. What those postings resulted in? Massive flames. They sure do gather attention from others, but they have their real names, addresses, affiliations revealed by others in return. It's really hard to delete any kind of information on the web once it's made public. You don't want to see your name on the Google search result in a dishonorable way for the rest of your life, do you? So, the point is, don't try to make yourself look like more than you really are by telling lies, pretending to know what you don't really know, and doing something bad you don't usually do. You know yourself more than anyone else does. So, be honest with yourself, for yourself. The second rule to follow in the SNS society is to be deliberate. SNS can be not only a useful tool to communicate with, but also a powerful weapon to fight with. And when we have a weapon at hand, we have to be careful about how to use it. Prior to the age of SNS, individuals were powerless compared to big organizations such as giant companies and governments. A typical strategy they could use to fight a bigger enemy was to form a group, march in a demonstration, and bring a case action lawsuit. However, this old fashioned method usually took a bunch of people 
and a long period of time. Let's take an example of Itai Itai disease, which is known as one of the four big pollution diseases of Japan. Caused by the cadmium polluted basin built by a mining company, this terrible disease was officially recognized in 1968. It took a huge amount of effort by a number of people and almost half a century to come to a full resolution in 2013. Today, when you face an issue you want the public to recognize, you can spread it, share it, and amplify it through SNS. In fact, a Japanese food company has recently decided to shut down their factories for a while because of one tweet posted by a college student. A tweet with a photo of a roach mixed in the instant noodle. By the way, people don't seem to remember much about the case where a human finger was found in a rice bowl sold at a convenience store in 2002, which is, by the way, six years before Twitter widely spread in Japan.、Mm, interesting comparison. When John Lennon sang the song Power to the People in 1971, Who would imagine an individual could stop a company's operation with 140 letters? Now you have the power, and it's up to you how to use it. The power helps you help others, or attack others, or backfires on you. Anyway, you will be judged by the way you use it. So, again, be deliberate. Ready, aim, Think twice before you pull the trigger. The last rule is to be respectful to others. It is extremely important in the SNS world. Why? Is it because showing respect to others is a generally accepted moral statement? Well, partly yes. But what is more important is it gives you more realistic benefit in the SNS society. The rating system of Uber, a famous worldwide car sharing service, is a good example of this. When you ride an Uber car as a passenger, you are asked to rate the driver. The drivers with higher ratings have more passengers. Sounds reasonable. It's a healthy competition, don't you think? But it's not a one sided story. In fact, Uber drivers also rate you, passengers. So, if you behave rude and unrespectful to the drivers, you will be rated low and, eventually, no drivers will pick you up anymore because they know you are a low rated, therefore, most likely unpleasant passenger. Uber is just an example of the tech driven companies which employ client rating s y s t e m And I expect more to follow this way because it is helpful maintaining the quality of services and encouraging competition both among service providers and among service receivers. You may wonder how this story is connected to our life in SNS. Suppose if you use Facebook and Uber under the real name, it's easy to link you between these two. What if someone discloses your low Uber rating on Facebook? Your reputation will be seriously damaged. For your information, you can log in Uber with your Facebook account. Of course, not all the SNS are on a real name basis yet, but the more tech services you use, the more likely you are to expose to the public who you are and what you did to others. Remember, the taxi drivers are no longer nameless or faceless people you can give abusive words when you get drunk. So, don't forget to show your respect to others. To summarize my story, I'd like to point out these three simple rules are derived from one simple principle. In the SNS based society, you are both of a reviewer and reviewee. You are still free to say anything. And rate anyone in whatever way you want. One thing you should keep in mind is so are others. You never know who is rating you, how, about what. Does it feel suffocating? I agree. 
but remember these three simple rules again. Be honest, be deliberate, and be respectful. After all, these are what our parents taught us when we were kids, aren't they? I believe they remain important today and will even more so tomorrow in more advanced SNS society. Thank you for watching.